Hey everyone, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of really nervous with this video, but yeah, hi. I yeah, Hello. And can you see the reflection on my glasses a little bit of the software? Never been able to figure that out. It's been a bit. It's been a long bit. What was meant to be a month turned into a year. And I feel like you guys deserve as I sit here not even just chill just chill today we're chill you guys deserve an explanation uh just an honest what happened why I don't want to be one of those people that's like oh the endless apology videos feel bad for me no no just let's just talk about what happened where are we now and what's the plan for the future. Let's just let's get that all out of the way. I don't know a good way to present to talk about it, what is a vlog, me speaking video, but I feel like I just freaked out for a second because I thought we weren't recording. <laughs> you guys need to know. So let's start with where I was. So when I left you guys, it was, I forget the month but I was getting out of the military. Now, when you're getting out of the military, specifically in the Navy, you go to one of two places that I know of, Banger in Washington or uh, Norfolk in Virginia. The idea is you go there and you get briefed and they tell you, all right, getting out of the military, this is what you can do, this is what you can't do, you know, like, do you have any medical issues, like financial issues, all that stuff, just making sure that, hey, you're good to go, Navy has done their part, you know, you've done yours, that kind of stuff, final checks. When I talked to a few of my friends who got out before me, I was like, hey, I'm about to get out, how long does this take you, roughly? And they're like, oh, it took me like four days, including getting there, like getting there and leaving, so don't worry about it, have fun. And then I talked to the people who um, were packing up my stuff from Japan, to bring to Norfolk, which is where my wife was at the time, even though I was going to Bangor to get checked out. I was just like talking to them, and they said like, well, it'll take us about a month. So something I didn't really account for, and when they gave me the estimations, didn't really include, was that it was the end of the year. It was getting to be winter or Christmas time, so everyone wanted to get out of the military, on leave so they could be with their fr friends and family, just like I did. I was one of those people, I wanted to get out so I could be with my wife. And yeah, they were overwhelmed and understaffed. And in during the moment, I'm like, this is the worst thing ever because you're getting out so they can't make you do work. But is my posture good? Oh, I just realized I have this thing on. I have my headset. I don't even need my headset on, to be honest. It's forced a habit. I, always, I almost always like wear it when I'm on the computer. But um, room is so much more clear. <laughs> So, like, they would have you muster, like, two or three times a day, like, once in the morning, late morning, and, uh, like, early, early in the afternoon, with the intent of, don't get in trouble. They're responsible for us. They want us to be there, but there was nothing for us to really do, which was kind of funny, because the place that I worked in Japan, there was a location just like it on that base, and I'm sitting there like, man, I would kill to just go like I know the job works I just be able to walk in and be like hey I, I was I was supervisor supreme over there let me do the thing over here you know like I wanted a job because I was it was sucking my brain out and in hindsight it wasn't that bad to be 100% honest but in the moment like so th this isn't me going like the Navy sucked in my head I never joined the military no I had a great time in the military. A lot of bad happened, but a lot of good happened. I grew a lot as a person, and I don't regret it. I don't regret serving at all. In fact, I encourage it. Just keep in mind, it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. But if you think you're cut out for it, do it. I believe in you. And it wasn't my gig. You know, I didn't want to do it for life. So I was like, you know what? Now's a good time to get out. So I did. And, um, yeah, that process took a while it took a long while and eventually as i don't make <laughs> i keep thinking like so um there's a reason i'll explain later why i'm trying to do this without any cuts and um i'm realizing how much how long it's been since i've recorded i need to look at you in the camera not just 
the side here. So, as I work on that a little bit. So, um, where was I? I was getting out of the military. So I got out of the military. It took me about a month, which should have taken like two or three or day, two or three days. It took me a month. I did get to go. I did get to go explore Seattle though. That was pretty fun. Seattle's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Really like the crab there. But um, I got out, and the plan was I was in. So I'm with in Virginia with my wife. Life's good. So the plan was was that I was gonna do full time college and maybe get a part time job until Aaron got out of the military in May, where she would do the same thing, maybe part-time job and work on college. And um, it worked for a little bit, and then it didn't. I, I always get really uncomfortable whenever I have to talk to people about this and my experience with it, but it was something that I, looking back, I've had this forever, but it was me coming, I'm gonna lower this just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. And it's something that I was coming to grips with since forever. Like, or that I had my entire life and I was just starting to really come to grips with it. Is that I have had and have severe depression, anxiety, ADHD. I've joked that I've had it, but it came full force then. You know, like, um... I was talking to my wife's therapist and because she has she has the same issue even though like me and Aaron were almost complete opposites in a lot of different ways but that's one of the ways that we're we're pretty good on being similar and um she was like no wonder you're depressed I mean you lost your job you lost your social circle you lost where you lived because you left the military and you came back to Virginia but also just because like you've had this your entire life and the military as much as it did a lot of good it also aggravated it but in aggravating it it made you realize you needed help and i'll admit i was real stubborn about it which yeah it, it took a long time for me until i even started getting help for it and there was there was some good there was some bads it was mixed but overall i just found well i'll get to that part later uh eventually as part of it it was like it was all like I was told, okay, listen, I know you're doing full time college, but when you literally don't have the energy, the willpower to do it, you gotta do something, okay? Like, so it's not permanent, but get a job. Get a job of some kind, which I know when I say that out loud, it's like, wow, Max is a deadbeat. I'm like, well, no, I thought I was gonna do full time college, but it's like, well, until we get this solved, you need to have a job of some kind. And I was like, all right. And I found a job that was with a company called 5CA. And that was online tech support for video games. I essentially did tickets for Fortnite, which I'm not gonna go in depth on my thoughts in that game. They're negative, <laughs> they're negative, but that's beyond the point or be besides the point. And um, I did that for a while, that was in May. I started that job. So Aaron was getting out of the military too, and she was facing the same struggles I was of like readjusting to civilian life. And the job was good for a while. It was basically like help people with their accounts and, or issues. You know, like, hey, I lost my account. Can you help me? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, sure. All right, let's you know, give me, give me your information for your account. Let's get to work. And um, I did that for a while. And at first it was good because it was just. It was monotonous, but you still thought about everything you were doing. So, and it was it was really satisfying at the end of the day to be like, your target's like 120 or something, and I was pushing 200, 300 regularly. And that felt pretty good, just like going nuts on these cases. And, but eventually, oh, during that process, during that process, we moved from Virginia to South Dakota, back, back home. So we could be closer to family, closer to friends and just different climate like culturally speaking and weather speaking just a lot more pleasant than Norfolk there's a lot of cool stuff in Norfolk don't get me wrong it's not the place for me it's not the place for me or or Aaron really it got to her a lot too and um yeah so it was in sep I'm really bad at dates September my um still having problems with therapists still having problems with depression and stuff and 
I got low enough, emotionally speaking, where I wanted to die. I was suicidal. I didn't do anything, I didn't have a plan, but I was emotionally speaking there. And that was not a fun feeling. That was not a good time. And thank goodness for Aaron and my family who helped me through it. Which I want to take a break from this video, this rambling video where I'm just like trying to talk in one stream of consciousness. I want to take a moment to say, because I know a lot of people out there, a lot of people struggle with this and they don't say anything because they're probably in the same boat I was of just like, I just need to improve myself. I'll get better. I'll fix this myself. You know, not wanting to look emotionally weak or anything. A lot of pride. I'll fully admit that. Please talk to someone. Please, please, please talk to someone. I was so afraid that everyone was going to think I'm faking or that I'm weak or that no one cared or anything like that. And that is not farther from the truth. Or that cannot be farther from the truth. You know, it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> like, please talk to someone, anyone, about it. It's not worth going through life with that issue. Like, um, so at that point, they talked me through it. I started, I went to a therapist, a psychiatrist, a psychologist. I still am. The day I'm recording this, I actually came back from a psychologist trip and it's helped me so much. I used to be like, oh, I don't want to take medication. You know, I don't want to be a zombie. But the way it was explained to me is that if you have like depression because you're built differently, it's just like wearing glasses to help you see. You're not you, like you're not a zombie for not wearing glasses. For you're not gonna like turn into a robot or something for wearing glasses. It's gonna help. A lot of good stuff's gonna happen, which is why I want to encourage. If anyone out there is watching this that had depression had has is going through depression i want to encourage you talking to people getting help medication it's not the end of the world so but anyway i don't want to focus on that too much because it makes me feel like that being like oh me it's like no no facts facts factual what happened so i started going through that and in september october ish i quit my job with 5ca i sent my email said hey thank you guys so much for the opportunity and for like the time you've taken to care for me and like to train me and stuff but this job isn't for me anymore thank you for your time and i left like it was so it was so strange because like the night that the night that i was suicidal and like realizing how much stress that job gave me the next morning like i just sent an email like i sent an email that night didn't show up for work next morning they're just like oh Oh, you're serious? And I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. And I, I'm, I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah, thank you for your time, but I'm not doing this. So I left the job and started focusing on, once again, college, psychology, that kind of stuff. Working my way up, getting better. And it's been good. It's been really good. Don't let anyone ever tell you that anything comes before your own mental health. Your own mental health is so important because without your own mental health nothing else matters you can't like you know it, it sounds weird because it's like oh well, max you're a christian why didn't you just pray that crap stops when you lose mental health when you can't focus when you can't think straight when like depression takes hold and all that stuff you gotta take care of your mental health everything else can wait mental health is so important spiritual health is also important physical health is also important financial health is also important la dee da mental health just trust me i'm still recording life's good <laughs> like, just, am i recording yes i am Shush. stuff's good oh yeah also the beard the beard is important because as we all know when we get out of the military you gotta grow your hair out you, you gotta you just you gotta do it you know you're free you just get that man bun and that nah, i can't do a man ton. maybe a ponytail maybe a mullet solid snake that nah, nah, i'm kidding but um crap where was i so mental health mental health is very important so that's where i am right now like 
I'm in South Dakota. As you can see, I'm, well, I can move the camera a little bit. It's messy, but I got my own recording studio. Like, I put it together myself, and it makes me so happy that I can yell, and it doesn't echo. I love it. And, um, yeah, just putting this together, getting the moxie up to start up YouTube again. And even though I didn't pu pu pub publish, publish or post anything, I, um... I have been editing, recording, but, so now we're talking about the present. I felt paralyzed by if what I was doing was right, was worthwhile, was good. Like, I mean, I think, I think everyone kind of gets that with their hobby. Like, like, is this fun? Is this worthwhile? Am I growing as a person? And should I even be doing this? What's the point? You know, like those kind of like, you just really start worrying about it. And um, I was getting that too. Because, dude, when I started YouTube, I, I, I may not have admitted at the time, but I was copying someone else. I was like, man, I want to be game through. I want to be Vsauce. I want to make walkthroughs. And then very quickly I learned, I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to, I don't want to be, let's play Markiplier and PewDiePie. That's not me. And as I've grown, they've changed a lot too, but I've changed a lot as well. And I realize it's not what I want. So there's a lot of me sitting down and going like, what is, can you tell that I'm leaning like this because my legs are just, see? so maybe I'll just focus and sit straight here like this. So it came down to me really just sitting down and thinking about, Okay, one, I came to looking for role models, not because Max is trying to copy people, but because like, hey, left to my own devices, I'm not making a product I'm happy with, and I don't know how to make a product that I'm happy with. So, what do I do? You know, what do I do? So first, role models. Second, sitting down and figuring out what do I want? End result, end of the day, what do I want out of my experience with YouTube, with this hobby? Ain't money. <laughs> it ain't money because I'd be selling out more. I do it for fun. So what do I want? So the first thing, first thing was I wanted it to be enjoyable. Enjoyable for me, enjoyable for those watching, a relaxed, fun experience and place to be. I didn't want people to feel like, like I had to say everything. 24 7 because I have that bad habit I have a really bad habit of rambling and just going 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 and being uncomfortable with silence I will totally admit that that's something I'm working on but freeing myself from that notion was really really important to me that is just like I need to get that out of my mind get that out of my life I want a chill relaxed fun place to be the second thing, the second thing. It was about sharing joy. So that, that point is more about me. Second, I wanted to share the joy of video games. Like, I know I know when people say art, it's like, oh, art, oh, so fancy. Mm -hmm. Like, let me let me take apart every single little detail of the video game to show the trauma of the user. Oh. And a lot of games do have that deep thought. But I feel like a lot of things become trivialized when looked at that way, or a lot of things lose the fun. You know, either it doesn't matter or it's not fun anymore. And the games speak to me because, and I may not have realized this as a kid, or when I was just younger in general, but as I got older, I'm realizing it more and more. Video games are special to me because it's a form of storytelling that becomes part of you. You become part of that story. Sure, some games you're railroaded and that's not a bad thing. Some games want you to have one specific story, but it shows stories and perspectives, art, like it shows music and paintings and design and movies and all sorts of things while all being a challenge of skill and of you all together in one. And you become part of it. Like Pokemon, Pokemon, yeah, sure. like. You could use one specific, the meta team, if you will. But it's your journey. It's your journey and how you do it. Dark Souls, all oh, the, the second boss was a breeze, but the fifth destroyed me. Like, 
it's different for everyone and that's why it's special and that's why i wanted to someday make video games that's part of my dream so which kind of goes into point three but point two i wanted to share that joy that joy of games in general because it deals with part three i want to make video games someday one of the reasons i made this channel that i realized over time don't go back to those old videos don't check me they're all terrible <laughs> i don't like to look back at old videos if i would delete them all but like i would delete them all but i would rather learn from my mistakes than pretend they don't exist so don't don't check me <laughs> don't you, look it's cringe it's bad D don't do it but um was to one of the reasons i wanted to do this, this youtube channel was to learn about video games see how things were done right or wrong develop my own opinion have examples have you know like if like uh, if you're being like a, a theater student you're gonna go back to all the original classic plays and classic movies and stuff to be like what is done right how is it done how does it grip you how does it do all this stuff or you watch movies that are bad or you play games that are bad to be like oh this is bad how do we fix it how could we make this better or is it just burn the whole thing you know so I, that's one of the reasons I had this YouTube channel because I wanted to learn about game design from masters essentially and hey if I'm gonna learn about it and play it and enjoy it I'd like to share it with you I don't know you I'll, maybe some of the people that watch this I know but for the most part I'm willing to bet I don't know you but you know what I hope I can impact you I hope I can impact you for the better I hope that I can make you smile, be happy, enjoy life. Because we all need that. We all need some kind of happiness. And through games, stories, lessons, growth, and I want to share that. And I want to share that. And I'm not perfect. I know for a fact I'm not perfect. But I want to know, but I want to make, I want to know I'm making people happy and inspiring growth those were kind of my goals and i didn't realize that for a while and these people don't know me this isn't me begging to meet them someday but in terms of role models like i talked about earlier uh i couldn't ask for anything better except i'm, I'm not gonna start going names and like have clips of why i think they're perfect because they're just people too but they really inspired me and that is everyone and all associated channels with that one video gamer, normal boots, hidden block. Everyone associated with those three groups of channels, if you will, inspired me and taught me a lot about myself, the industry, YouTube and games, and just in general. No, it's not my goal to copy them. No, I don't want to be exactly like them. I want to be like me, but I learned a lot from them. And I'm still learning a lot from them today. And that's really important to me. And I, if they watch this, I just want to say thank you. Hope to meet you someday. It'd be pretty cool. But thank you. Probably. I really, really, really appreciate it. Not that I think they're perfect. They're humans too. But thank you. So with, with these ideas in mind, I was like, all right, so chill relax fun place sharing joy of video games and talking about game design talking about game design stuff like that i'm not perfect i'm learning too but i'm willing to bet there are some games where i'm like oh they should i wish they changed x or maybe i'm just spoiled by y and this game isn't meant to be like x or you know something like that and um you'll hear me talk about these things during um, a lot of the videos I recorded, you'll see a lot of changes and stuff like that. Like the camera leaves, the camera comes back, size changes, all sorts of stuff. But um, yeah, like I had a good time recording those, but I never posted them because I was scared to. And I don't even know when I'm gonna post this, but I'm working on it and I'm really excited. So that's where we are presently. <laughs> it's like, okay, wait, hold on next. Bring it all back. So we talked about the past where I was physically here we're here presently now so what's the plan for the future 
the future, the future of this channel. Possibly including the name rebranding. Level Up Max Gaming. I like the name, but maybe I'll change that. I'm debating, debating. But, um, what now? What now? So, I have a three step plan. <laughs> three step plan. First, we steal the chocolate. Profit. <laughs> Question mark, then profit. No. So, a three step plan. For getting back i don't know when this is gonna happen i'm not gonna promise time time frames or anything like that you know keep in mind this is all in the ether until we start getting back into it so the first step first step to getting back is with with our new vision of what we want to be and as i described this also describe what the channel will become kind of thing so the first step is shotgun step shotgun it's closure it, there's a lot of episodes that i post that um I've been editing, rendering, recording, I think in total, like, it took eight days to render 67 videos. And like, that was just straight leaving, like leaving the computer alone and just letting it render. That's the only thing it's doing. Eight days straight, it took to render those videos. And, um, which I thought was pretty funny. Like, I'm also looking at the girl like, oh, you poor thing, I'm so sorry. Like, that's not talking, I was just like, oh, what have I done? But that, so, I, I know you could look at, look at this as like, as like, Max is ashamed of his past. So he's just gonna, oh, so I never even told you the plan. The plan is, is, do you know you could send messages on YouTube to your public like just post a message and it goes to everyone that's a new thing it's pretty cool and um, I'm gonna post something that's gonna be like step shotgun is the step shotgun has initiated for closure on videos please check the channel because I'm gonna post all of the videos at once all in at once now I'm gonna do it silently so you'll see the little posted message and None of the videos will go to your subscription box, so you'll have to go. Co you'll have to come to the channel to come look at it. Because man, okay, so it was either a, I like, I like shotgun them all to you, and like your your inboxes are swarmed with seventy plus videos, and that didn't I, I, I didn't sound good. I don't like that. So I figured it would be better to post this video, wait a bit until they're all ready to go silently you know, silently publicize all those videos so that way you know hey okay so what is it finishing echo metal gear solid 5 neo pokemon i started um i started monster hunter world monster hunter world i did a little mini series of that which was fun I talked about my feelings on the game. I might play it again someday. But, um, Monster Hunter World. Like, just to post them all at once. So that way, like, hey, I was doing stuff, but I don't want to spend the next three months or however long posting those videos. No, I just want to, I just want to get them out of the way. I want to get them out of the way. They're fun. I don't regret them. If you want closure, go for it. But also just, let's move on. New plans. So that's step one. Step shotgun. Step two is streaming. I'm a one-man army here. <laughs> not a very good one-man army. I like to think I'm Solid Snake, but I'm not. And, um... I wanted to start doing streaming. It's a little scary. It's a little scary because, you know, it's going straight... It's, okay, so right now I'm using streaming software to record. And it's a little scary. Being like, ooh, ooh, what if something happens? What if, like, ooh, I don't know. But it's also kind of fun. I'm not perfect with it. I haven't done many test streams with it, but it's a lot of fun. And um, I figured I'd start streaming to Twitch. I would then take those streams and the YouTube would be where they're archived. And I think that'd be a lot of fun. And hey, you know what? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's okay. I'm, I'll am i just I'll just start making normal videos again. But I wanted to stream maybe three or four times a week what am, for like two or three hours when am i going to start doing that don't know i don't know but i think it'll be really good i think it'll be a lot of fun and you may be wondering what kind of games will i be streaming well that kind of goes into step three <laughs> step three which is reviews i want to do reviews again like 
I in the past did a few reviews and they were fun and they got good feedback and um, I had a really good time but I want to do them more now once again how often what games blah 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 blah. I don't know I don't know nothing set in stone I'm just get, I'm, I'm telling you guys what is going through my mind so that we're kind of on the same page so you know what to expect and um, I said earlier like what games am I going to stream and it's related to step three well, I still want to do franchise series. I finished Metal Gear Solid 5, and it's a bit more dramatic in the video when I talk about it. But um, the next series up is The Witcher. I, I hear so much good stuff about The Witcher, so much good stuff. And I actually, uh, some of the shotgun videos are of The Witcher. And I want to warn you guys, it is a mature video series. Just, it is mature. There is sex and murder and drugs and language and blah 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 but it's a really good game and i keep hearing people being like what's the best game of all time the witcher always just like ocarina of time comes up the witcher always comes up so i'm really excited to play that and then after neo and pokemon i also wanted to play xcom 2. i played xcom 1 on my own and i fell in love the soul like dark souls soulsy hack and slash difficult games like that are my happy place right well my other happy place is strategy games it is strategics turn-based real time doesn't matter it's my happy place am i good at either of these no not by a long shot but is it a lot of fun yeah it's wonderful i love it so i'll start with streaming a franchise series and then the other two will be either whatever i want to play just whatever I'm Jones into play that is just like, oh, I really want to play I, like XCOM 2. Well, let's play some XCOM 2. I changed my mind. I want to play uh, Enter the Gungeon. Okay, let's play Enter the Gungeon for a bit. Just it'll be whatever. And then the third will be the games that I plan on reviewing. So before when I was reviewing, <gasps> it was like deep breath, everyone. <gasps> so before when I was reviewing, I picked randomly. I considered trying to be like other people who are like, I must play whatever is the newest game and immediately review it. No, that's not my style. Five Nights at Freddy's taught me that. It's not my style. It, I play what I feel like playing. I play whatever I want, whatever interests me. And that's the way it should be. I, I don't like the idea of being tied down to whatever's new or like, oh, X game just got an update. I must make a video about it now. You know, like, titles in all caps and... No, no, it's not me. I'm gonna raise my camera just a little bit. Because, <laughs> like, Mac, you lowered it before. Yeah, I know. It's not me. It's not me, nor has it ever been me. So, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna review whatever games I feel like reviewing. And when I was writing down ideas, it got into, I think, four different categories because ideas sprung to mind. I bought a, I buy a lot of games from the used game section because it's like, I've never heard of this game and it sounds intriguing. Let's play it, review it. And like, I may not play on stream all the games I review. You know, like sometimes it may be like, you know, I play one on stream and the other I play on my own kind of thing. But, thoughts. <laughs> it's like, okay, so. One of the categories of games I wanted to review was games that I've never heard of. People may have heard of it. People may like the people may know the games from wherever, but I've never heard of it. And I find them in the bargain bin. I'm just like, let's do it. Let's see what this is. It could be a gem for all I know, or it could be awful. So that was one. The second, the second thing was comparison videos or okay. Yeah, there's comparison videos and legacy videos, which are kind of similar. So comparison was me. One of the ideas I had is playing the original Tomb Raider, the original, original, original Tomb Raider, and then playing whichever one was the newest. However, there's kind of like trilogies with those. So that might just be a Mondo big six game review. But um, just comparing, being like, hey, this is what the original Legend of Zelda is. This is what it is now. Let's look at, okay, so um, another thing, another thing I want to talk about reviews. Let's just, car alarm in the distance. So, um, 
okay, I was gonna talk about how I'm gonna do reviews, but let's just talk about the games I'm gonna review first. So, comparing the original to the newest, another one was, um, I've never played Castlevania Symphony of the Night. However, I will tell you, I've been getting, I've only ever played like a few Metroidvanias, and then, but then I started really getting into them. I love Metroid and Castlevania. Like, they're so much fun. So, I've never played Castlevania Symphony of the Night, so I wanted to compare that to whatever the newest Castlevania was. And like, you know, hey, why is this game good? Why is this game a classic? Why does everyone swear by this game? Learning that for myself, and then going to the newer game and being like, A, does this hold up? B, and, and this isn't to say like, one must be perfect and one must be the worst thing ever. Like, this isn't binary, this is just, like, I can end the thing by saying, like, they're both awesome. I love them both. They're both fantastic. Or I can end them both by being, they both kind of stink. But did the second one, did the newer one, learn from the older one? Did it regress? Did it progress? Did it, what did it do? Like, what, what do these games do to make them special? And I'm fascinated by that. Similarly, there was Legacy, the Legacy group. And that is, let's take... The example that always comes to mind to me is Banjo Kazooie. And freaking, freaking everyone loves Banjo Kazooie. I don't think I've ever heard a negative thing about Banjo Kazooie. Like, people swear by it forever. And a game came out somewhat recently called Ukulele, which was marketed towards those people who like Banjo Kazooie. They're not the same, like, they're not the same series and stuff. I think they're made by different people. I could be wrong about that. But it's like, hey, I'm inspired by you. Let. Like, I'm going to make something and to cater to the same audience, essentially. It isn't me trying to be like, ukulele is a cop-out. But it's me trying to go, all right, ukulele. All right, Banjo. We're going to look at you both side by side. Not to figure out who's worse, but just to figure out what do both of you bring to the table. And, like, ideas with that just sprung forward of so many different ideas. I got really excited I wrote them all down. It was like comparing oh, System Shock to Bioshock to Prey, comparing Devil May Cry to Bayonetta, comparing Mighty Number no. 9 to Mega Man X to 20XDX, and just stuff like that. I just, just came and came and came and I got really excited about it. And the fourth is, the fourth was um, Sentimental, which was maybe it'd be review games from my childhood, although that's probably going to be part of the first group, like the Oddity, the Odyssey. Trademark that. Trademark it. I'm calling it the Odyssey. <laughs> the Odyssey series. So, yeah. Odyssey, Comparison, Legacy, Sentimental. So, um... The Sentimental isn't so much to talk about games as it is about talking... Or, like... And I'll describe how I'm going to review them in a second. But it's not really talking about games so much as the impact they had on my life. Like... Dark Souls is a perfect example. I would talk about how I was introduced to the series, why I fell in love, and how it impacted me as a person, and the lessons I think I learned from it, and how I changed as a person. Not so much like, this is the mechanics of the game, this is how it works, this is what it looks like, but instead, why? Why is Dark Souls special to me? And, or why is Pokemon special to me? Why is Age of Empires special to me how do i think i grew from this game which kind of goes back to what i was talking about with original goals of like of these things these games like all art impact you but i feel like games impact you differently and for the better because you're the one doing them you're the one solving the problem sure you can say at the end of the day link was the one who saved ganon but you were the one who drove the plot you did it and that's really special. That's a really special thing. So I want to have a group of reviews to just talk about why certain games, or game concepts, game genres were special to me. So yeah, yeah. And um, I realized I talked out of order because um, I want to talk about how I was going to review games. One of my biggest fears and something I really just don't like is when people are binary about video games. Either when a game is the best ever or it's garbage and like people looking at games and reviewing them to tear them down and be like look 
uh, to be like this game is actually terrible and awful and it sucks and no one pay attention to it there's a lot to be learned from doing that I, I, not everything's perfect but also i refuse to be binary i absolutely refuse to be binary so one of my biggest goals with my reviews was going to be if i have a problem with something to give a suggestion on how to fix it i remember um i forget the exact quote but it was in the military of if you see a problem, it does no one any good to just point it out. Do your best. Even if it's not a good suggestion, do your best to have some suggestion to fix it. And that kind of struck me a lot. That that hit me hard. Not, well, I mean, yeah, maybe before then it was, I was just like, that's wrong. Well, how do you fix it? But it's wrong. Well, if you don't know how to fix it or you don't have a suggestion, it's not going to do any good, is it? So I wanted to have a focus on how it could have been done better. Suggestions. What could have been improved to make it better? To do my best. So I want that to be a big focus of my reviews. How I was going to structure them, though, was because um, I love alliteration. It was going to be presentation where I talk about the game and the, like the game, how I was introduced to it, when it was made, stuff like that. Then polish, where I talk about like, what does the game look like, sound like, story, what is it about? Not, not focus on reviewing it so much as just being like baseline, bam, bam, bam. It looks like this, bam, artistic style, bam, music style, bam. Then play, which was same kind of thing with mechanics, not, I'm with these two I might start edging into like what I like and dislike about it but for the most part it's just bam platformer bam you do this bam you do this think of it like an introduction like as if I was like going in front of a board and just being like all right here's the game this is what it does this is how it works blah 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 stuff like that then there was product where I really start digging in you know what is the result of the game that's why I start Digging into it, looking at mechanics I like and dislike, and giving suggestions, giving praise, latching on to something and being like, this is really cool. This is a really cool idea that they use to do this and this. It's really clever. Or to be like, this is really, like, this is bad. It's not the end of the world bad, but it's kind of bad. I think it could be fixed if they did X or something like that. And um, then... Yeah, and that'd be the bulk of the review. The bulk of the review is me just talking about that. I'll try my best to avoid spoilers, but for the most, but I may, like for the most part, I may talk about story. Every everything's on the table. Everything's on the table. It's the product. How how does the product work, feel, taste, all that good stuff? Then the post post game, I'll call it, which I actually came up with that like five minutes before starting this, which made me really happy. That I'm like, ha! Ah. So um, the post game, the post game. That's when I'm going to talk about final thoughts, final overall thoughts. And I have a I have a sliding scale, not the most in, in, ingenuitive, special sliding scale in the world, but it's a sliding scale. And um, I wanted to go away from saying like, oh, well, a one means the game sucks and is awful. And a 10 means the game is perfect and can do no wrong. I'm not so much focused on how the game is designed and like well i'm gonna check my phone because it vibrated for a second okay cool this is good. my wife is checking on me to make sure i'm not dead but um see streaming streaming i can't just cut away from it you have to you have to look at my phone but um I don't want to vote. I don't want to be like, oh well, the perfect game must be Elizabethan and a shooter, and it must be oh that game's not a shooter minus three points. I'm not trying to find the perfect game here. Just it's just like trying to find the perfect book, art like piece of art, movie, whatever. There is no perfect. It's different for everyone. I really don't like race. Well, yeah, I don't like racing and sports games. There are exceptions. And like I said, Dark Souls and strategy games are my happy place. But that doesn't mean only Dark Souls and strategy games are good games. So my sliding scale isn't focused so much on this game sucks. It's what did it do for me in terms of did I enjoy it? So a one would be I hated it. 
Not, not if the game is good. Not if the game is good or bad. But I hated it. Five would be, I'm lukewarm. It's boring. I, I don't care. It's not exciting. It's like, it could be, I'm just gonna make something up. I could play Call of Duty and just be like, you know, functionally this game works. Functionally this, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm bored. And then I could look at Bioshock and be like, I hate this game and it's awful and blah, blah, blah. And then I could look at Bioshock 2, and which is 10. Like, okay, so I'm using those examples. Those aren't my actual feelings. I actually really like Bioshock and stuff like that. Call of Duty, more lukewarm, but I can see why people like it. So, one is I don't like it. Five is I'm bland. Is I'm bland about it. I don't care. Indifferent. And ten is I love it. The game's perfect? Of course not. But is it near and dear to my heart? Yes, and this is why. I'll then relate it to a concept in the game just because I think that's a fun thing. So it's like, Sonic is a seven. A seven, or... Like, Sonic is a giant ring at the end of the level, or a seven on the... On, my scale and uh, once again no, none of this is set in stone working on it but i think it's fun to relate a game to a concept within it you know to be like the surge is this enemy or a or a four out of ten something like that and yeah that's kind of <sighs> like breathe max that's how i want to do it i don't want to focus on excuse me I don't want to focus on being binary. I don't want to focus on being like, this game sucks and I hate it, or this game I'm gonna defend it till I die. I just want to talk about my experience with it. And if what I'm describing to you, and if what I'm talking about, or picking apart with game design, or lessons to learn from the game, sounds fun, then I highly, I want to be the guy who's like, hey, I had a lot of fun with this game. Come have fun. And if you don't like it, okay, cool. Nothing wrong with that. But I want to introduce chances for people to enjoy things. Because that's really important and really special to me. And, um... How long have I talked? 45 minutes-ish? Yeah, 45 minutes-ish. That's... But that's how I want to do reviews. I need to start wrapping it up. But, um... That's how I want to do reviews. So that's step three. Reviews. Now, when are these steps gonna happen? I don't know. I'm trying to be better about social media. I, I hate using social media, but I'll try to be better about it, keep you guys in the loop. But that's the plan. Step one, I'm gonna shotgun. Uh, step one, for the future, I'm going to shotgun all the videos. A little notification will go out when they're all posted. Not necessary. like you shouldn't, I, <laughs> if I do this right, you won't see it in your subscriptions, but You'll be able to watch them. That's the hope, anyway. I'll do I'll do rigorous tests to make sure. So that's step one. Step two, streaming. I'll um when I make this video, I'll post uh, in the in the description. I'll have a link to. Uh, I just realized my hand was too low. In the description, I'll have a link to my Twitch, in which it's still under construction. I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to figure out how things work with Twitch because. Hey, if I don't know anything about YouTube, you better believe I don't know anything even more about Twitch. But I'm working on it. So, I'll start streaming. My goal is two or three times a week. My goal is that. And I'll be recording franchise videos, whatever I want, or... Oh, speaking of reviews, franchise videos will be reviews as well. They'll probably be more than sentimental group, but just make sure. Metal Gear Solid, I'll do that someday. Don't worry about it. So, we'll stream whatever I want, franchise, or whatever I want also suggestions. So if you, if you guys like, dude, play. Dig Dug. Play Dig Dug. Just do it. You'll love it. I'll try to make it work so I can play Dig Dug. Uh, dig Dug. Dig 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 Dug. Mario. We'll play Mario. Because <laughs> Dig Dug, I feel awkward saying. So... You know, it'll be the Oddity games, the franchise series, or what I plan on reviewing. Even if the review video doesn't come out for months, it'll be like, hey, this is this is something I wanted to review. 
And the last group is those reviews. I don't know how often they're going to come. I don't know how long they're going to be. Knowing me, I'm going to ramble. Because I like rambling. It's what I do. No, that's not true. I'm, I'm constantly nervous about myself rambling. But, um, yeah, we'll be doing reviews. So, that's the plan. I think... I think I got everything, though. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got out of the military. Bought depression. Bought depression. Had a job. Quit the job. Moved South Dakota. New outlook on YouTube. About about being a fun, relaxed place because I don't want to feel like a fake person anymore. I just want to be myself and share joy, which is step two, share the joy of games. And step three, talk about game design and stuff like that. Because, hey, I know I'm not perfect. I'm learning how to make video games, but I want to learn from masters. So, that, yeah, step two is where we are now. Step three, I'm going to post this video, shotgun. Well, yeah, yeah, post the video on shotgun, then work, um... Work towards streaming. There we go, and then work towards reviews. Yeah, that's the full that's the that's the plan we know. The plan diddly. That's the general plan. I if if you guys stuck through this whole thing, thank you so much. I'm really excited to be back. I don't know how well it's going to work or how it's going to work, but I'm really excited. And I hope I can be a positive influence on you on you guys. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I missed. It's like, I, I don't think so. I think we're good. That's the rough plan. No time frames yet. Working on it though. I'm not dead. Aha. So, yeah. That's it. Thank you all so much for watching. And, yeah, I hope to see you then. Bye.